and today is gonna be a nice, calm, relaxing, well, as calm as I can be, relaxing PR slash stuff that I ordered mail unboxing. So actually, you guys can't see any of the packages. Woohoo! Um, we actually have quite a bit, which is impressive for me because I used to never have the self-control. The only time I used to be able to do like PR mail unboxings is like if I went out of town and then I came back into town and I had a bunch of stuff waiting for me to unbox because I am like, a kid like if it's a box I gotta open it I gotta find out what's inside of it but I have been super busy this week so I only already pre-opened a couple of these we have a lot of like what I think are gonna be interesting packages I think some of these are Poshmark orders Etsy orders and some are PR hey everybody very sick bunny from the future here interrupting today's video to give a quick thank you and a quick shout out to today's video sponsor which is audible i'm sure you guys remember me talking about audible several times in the past they are the leader in audiobook selection they literally have thousands and thousands of titles there has never been a title that i'm interested in listening to that i haven't been able to find and download on audible and trust me i have what i at least consider a little like off the beaten path taste for instance what i have been enjoying on audible lately is a book about waco a survivor's story now i know that i have told you guys a little bit here and there. Something that I am very interested in is cults. I actually bought this copy of this book last year. I had full intention of reading it, but I swear if I do not do an audiobook without a doubt, like nine times out of ten, I do this with books where I will get as far as you guys can see, like the spine has been bent here, and then I set it down and I never finished it. Why? because I spend too much time on my phone, on my computer, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I feel like my eyes get tired and it's like I want to read. At the end of the day, the energy is not there, the time is not there, and the strength in my eyeballs is not there. So that is where Audible and audiobooks is perfect. If you're a person like me, you spend a lot of time staring at computer screens. It's a great way to still learn new things and, you know, learn about topics. Uh, that you're interested in or not even learning if you want to just like insert a Stephen King book into your ears uh, I've done that several times on audible as well if I get like 15 minutes of downtime during the middle of the day I can just hit play pick up right where I left off if I'm sitting down putting on my makeup I can turn on my audible audiobook it's a wonderful experience. You can download the audiobook and then you can listen to it anywhere, anytime, offline. The Audible app is free and it can be installed on all different kinds of phones and tablets. And my personal favorite is you can listen across devices without losing your spot. So that's something I do frequently where I will start listening on my iPhone and then this sucker will die, but then I can pick up like my my iPad and start listening there and it will just pick up so smoothly from the exact spot that I left off. It's basically like a digital bookmark. If you can even believe, a recent study discovered that 27% of adults have not read a single book in the past year and what do they cite as the main reason why? Lack of time. I just feel like we have more time to listen than to sit down and actually read. Does anybody else feel that way? Be sure and check out Audible by clicking the first link in the info box down below. You will not regret it. The URL that you're gonna wanna visit is audible.com slash bunny. Or you can also text bunny to 500-500. With your monthly subscription, each month you will get a credit and basically one credit equals one audiobook. And you also get access to two Two Audible originals each month. There you will get access to daily news publications like the Washington Post and the New York Times as well as guided meditation programs and I honestly haven't checked that out yet but that sounds really interesting like something calming that I could use in my life. So be sure and check out Audible. They have everything from bestsellers to a bunch of Audible originals. They even have stand-up comedy, spoken word news, 
business, celebrity memoirs, they've got it all. So be sure and check them out at audible.com slash bunny today or by clicking the first link in the info box. Thank you so much Audible for sponsoring today's video and now back to the past. I was gonna say back to the future. That's not the case. Anyway, let's start slicing and dicing. First of all, this came in the mail and I just wanted you guys to get as big of a chuckle out of it as I did. There are no like Joker action figures for the new Joker. No figures, no nothing. Dogman and I are big into collecting like the six scale figures of characters that we like. There is none for the new Joker, but I did find this guy on eBay and this is the most hilarious bootleg action figure I've ever seen. I don't even know what this is made out of. It reminds me of Mars Attacks where they like just shove a head onto something that doesn't match. The next thing that came in this week as PR that I actually started filming a try on haul for because I got two big PR packages from Black Milk Clothing. So that is an upcoming video. Let's get into this stuff. Uh, very first thing on the bottom here is from Sugar Pill. And I'm gonna be honest, I feel like they put like so much time and dedication into handwriting little cards and stuff. I just feel like it's sweet. I don't know. I'm a sucker for stuff like that. Ooh, I didn't even know this came out. You guys, I love Sugar Pill liquid lipsticks. So this is Pumpkin Spice 2. I had Pumpkin Spice 1 forever ago. I didn't know they made a pumpkin. Oh, okay, I'm gonna open it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love, I love that color. It's like a nice, almost like rusty pumpkin and it makes me yearn for fall. We have this collection, which I was so excited for. They did, I almost wanna say like a 90s inspired, like clueless kind of like back to school kind of collection. Um, so it's three shades, dress code, dropout and teacher's pet. And I'm gonna go ahead and just plug in some swatches here so you guys can see. That way I can move like a little bit faster versus like opening every single lipstick. Um, and then, ooh, we have um, a pretty poison lipstick shade in Hydro, Hydro? Yeah, I almost wanted to say Hydra, as in the, the thing with multiple heads. Dude, if I keep getting distracted, I'm never gonna finish this video. All right, so that was uh, step one. Ooh, what is this? Oh, oh my God, they sent me a green. Is this like a pressed eyeshadow? I'm so excited. Ooh, what is this? Arsenic, perfect for my life. Um, I love the green. I do. Okay, thank you so much, Sugar Pill. Let's check this. Next are a couple of packages that I had no self-control and I just went ahead and opened already. Well, I didn't know if I was gonna film this video. I feel like sometimes you guys like these videos and sometimes you guys don't. So I don't know, I'm just like rolling the dice that you guys are gonna enjoy this video today. But this package came from It Cosmetics. And look at this, this is actually like a little luggage thing. It's so cute. And then I did not know about this brand, but Kat told me it's like quite apparently like the luggage choice of the Kardashians. Um, I do not keep up with the Kardashians. So I had no clue that it was like a thing. You know what I mean? I'm actually super excited about this because they released a new product that is kind of like a sister product for the Confidence in a Cream, which I absolutely love this. It's just a wonderful like moisturizer, anti-aging serum, but they came out with a new version that's specifically meant for the nighttime. And it is a skin transforming pillow cream with rest and restore technology. So I am a huge fan of IT Cosmetics. So I cannot wait to test this out. Next, we have something that I am so excited to try. It's from an indie brand, and I think that the brand is called Kaleidos. For some reason, I thought that they were called something else, but I have been seeing these things everywhere on Instagram lately, and they look amazing. Oh my God, this says a message from the future. You are now entering the future of makeup. Please prepare for arrival. So um, these are a bunch 
of highlighters, but they're all kind of like alien space age themed and I love stuff like that. So let's go ahead and open up this one called Comet Catcher. And ooh, I mean, look at that packaging. Like, isn't that so like, maybe this is just cause this is always at the forefront of my mind, but I'm like, it looks so like kind of 60s retro space race kind of outer limitsy. Ooh. So it has a little like protective sleeve on it but look at that so this is actually like a tin but it almost feels like it has a rubberized coating to it like very unique packaging and then they have these little pans obviously and, so, and then they actually have makeup inside of them imagine that oh my god this one is literally called space age this is in green packaging oh no this one i don't think survive oh this did not survive but it looks really pretty it's called a uh, laser Glazer, Lazer Glazer. Um, so unfortunately this one shattered to a, a billion bits. No, I think this is definitely the green shade too. Um, why? Let's go ahead and do a swatch. Oh, okay, this one is like a gold. I don't feel like I picked up that much product, but oh, look at that. That is an impressive shine. So there are a ton of those in here. Oh my God, there's palettes too. Star Surfer. What is this? Let's go ahead and open one of these. Ooh. It's sort of like the packaging sort of has like a Pat McGrathy feel. No? Ooh, look at this. Oh my God. Look at that. It's like nice rainbow shades. What was this one called? This is called Futurism 5 VR Neon. That sounds like something I want to do. Okay, this box is upside down. I have no idea what it is. Hopefully it was okay to be stabbed. Oh, this is from The Balm. And I am very excited about that. Actually, for the past couple of months, I have been exclusively using Balm liquid eyeliners or at least like the black shade i've been using is the balm one i think it's called something like schwing which makes me think of wayne's world for some reason why is that oh good see it was just a layer of tissue on top so i didn't stab anything integral oh this is what i'm talking about schwing Ooh, i'm so glad i have a new one. Oh my god and i am so excited for this this must be a new product because i have never seen this before if you guys have leave me a comment down below but we have two sets of balm false eyelashes i am obsessed with false eyelashes so i am always excited to test out like new styles new brands all kind of stuff like that we also have Something else that I really do love, it is the Mad Lash Black Mascara. I love the packaging, of course, too. I basically love any of that, like, sci-fi kind of stuff. Ooh, we have a flat eyeshadow brush. I did not know that the Balm made brushes and tools and eyelash, fake eyelashes and stuff. I thought that they had discontinued, like, that range of products, you guys. I will still say it to this day, and I'm so sad that they discontinued making this, but I swear the Balm made the best hairspray on the planet. I have never found another hairspray that works as well for my hair as the Balm. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, I'm trying to get it out without damaging the packaging. It's like a sparkling eyeshadow set. But look at this, it looks like it's in a little, I think it's meant to be like, like wine coolers or something, sparkling, and it comes in like a six pack. I don't know anything about liquor, so that's, that, I don't know why that just came to my mind. Ew, some of these are so pretty, like wait, a purple one. Wow. Okay, another package sitting on top that I already ravenously opened is a new set of products from NYX. So this has three new brushes and I thought that these products existed before, minus the brushes, but you guys let me know. So I am ridiculously excited. Oh my God, this is like in there. Oh, it's like double stuff. Anyway, I am very excited about this brush. This is a primer brush which 
Primer is kind of the only product that I currently apply with my hands, but I'm very, oh, it's like very soft, but it reminds me of one of those um, soaps that I get from Lush all the time that has the little like bumps all over. You guys know what I mean? It's supposed to be like a massage bar and a soap all in one. This is a primer brush and it came with a product called... <laughs> It's like everything has this like sticky stuff on the back of it. So I feel like it's like one of those like prank jokes you would do to your friends. Uh, anyway, it came with the high glass primer. Is this a new product? Let me know. We also have two high glass highlighters. We have um, two more brushes in here, which honestly I am most excited about the brushes. So this is um, a setting brush for powders. This is a luminous finishing powder. I thought it was a highlighter. It is not. And then we have um, this brush for illuminating. Not 100% sure what that means, but I love this like angled. You guys see that? And then it says feeling extra, add a shimmer finish. Shut up, I'm so excited. Oh my God. I remember I had somebody tell me one time that shut up was a bad word. Growing up was shut up like a bad word, a no-no word in your household. For some reason I thought this was gonna be like spray on glitter uh, setting spray. Does anyone in the world want that besides me? Weigh in down below. I'm gonna be honest, it looks like just a normal setting spray. Like I don't really see any additional sparkle or shimmer in it. It feels like it's a very nice setting spray. I have used tons of NYX setting sprays before and I love them, but I don't really see anything that differentiates this one. If you see something, let me know down below. Uh, all right, ooh, up next is a box from Sweet Chef, which is the sister brand uh, to Glow Recipe. Kat and I just went to a lovely event hosted by them. I feel like I've mentioned that a couple times now, but honestly, I'm just so excited when any brand or any person in the world comes to Houston. Um, I feel like we are such a big city, yet we are always forgotten and not included in a lot of stuff. Like I feel like a lot of shows come to Dallas, a lot of events, a lot of things come to Dallas, which is like five hours away from Houston, which if you guys can believe this, I lived in Dallas for a year and I drove back and forth from Dallas to Houston every single weekend. Five hours there, five hours back, 10 hours of my life every weekend spent on the road. Wow. So uh, this says introducing super food. I almost can't talk. Super food and vitamins, beauty oil, and oh, ooh, a sugar cane and vitamin E lip sleeping mask. That is exactly what I need. Um, oh, this is so cute. It's a bunch of like recipe cards and they tell you, I guess, is this for skin or for food? I don't know. Okay, let me find the lip thing. Wait, I swear that's not in here. Oh my God, why did I think it was gonna be a lip balm? I was like literally just digging around looking for something like lipstick sized. So this is the Sugarcane Vitamin E Lip Sleeping Mask. It comes with a little spoon, spatululu, and the product, ooh. Okay, I just wanna smell it. It really doesn't have a scent. Um, so it looks like one of those flat shea butter consistency, um, balms, which is interesting. So let's open the vitamin beauty oil. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is like a very thin liquidous consistency, which I like that. I wish that all vitamins could just be absorbed through the skin. Anybody else like that? I feel like if I could just apply vitamins every day, I would be a vitamin person. Oh my God. Okay. First of all, it smells amazing. You guys, this, I feel like just made such a different feeling in my skin. Like, I'm actually like shocked. That just feels like so, like no joke, my skin feels so soft right now. It's almost like it almost has a primer feeling. I guess that's why I'm so shocked. While the camera was overheating, I went ahead and just unboxed the remaining products in the box. So we have three 
face masks, which I've definitely used the Beat one before, and I really, really like, I think I'm gonna do this one today. Um, and then we have a bunch of these really amazing serums. We have a ginger one that's vitamin C, Beet, which is vitamin A. Does anybody know what vitamin A is good for? I could just read the bottle, but I'd rather ask you. Um, and then we have vitamin B kale shot, and I really love the way that this one looks because it looks like it's gonna be you know what? Let's just sample it. It looks like it's going to be the color and consistency of guacamole. And I am really here for guacamole skincare. I wish that that was a thing. I love avocado. Like, yeah, as if I'm the only one that loves avocado. Um, like everyone in the world loves avocado. I'm convinced. God, all of this stuff just smells so fresh. And I feel like by just smelling it, I'm like 10 degrees healthier than I just was. All right. Up next. Ooh. Oh my God. I forgot to sippy sippy. What a sin. All right, we have another box from It Cosmetics and I am excited to see what this is. You know what, I'm gonna will some foundations in this box. I, I don't think it's gonna be foundations, but I am out of my favorite CC. I think I put it in like my 2019 or like favorites of a decade. I don't remember what I called that video, but they have like a CC cream foundation and I love it. Anyway, let's find out what the hell is in this box. It is a big heavy box within a box. Now I'm like suddenly just slipping into another accent in the middle of another accent. Ooh, what? is this experience new pillow lips lipstick don't mind if i do um it looks like there is going to be many many shades of lipstick in here as a matter of fact we have a double decker box on our hands so it says um lift it up for oh okay so i guess um one set of i probably shouldn't have just thrown the information on the floor but i think that there are um like satin finishes to these lipsticks and then this row is gonna be my favorite row uh because this is the matte row let's look at this one ew i love this packaging speaking of pillows there is a clothing DIY that I want to try. I'm gonna insert a picture of this. Have you guys seen the runway? I don't even know what designer this is, but it's like literally, she's like a pillow. She's in a comforter. It's like there's a comforter jacket and then like pillows <laughs> as the collar of the jacket. I feel like I need that. Can you imagine the luxury of just being able to like flop down and nap anywhere? So this shade is called, what is this? Serene? I suddenly can't talk. Um, Serene, we're gonna say that. Uh, that would be a beautiful name, honestly. Serene, love that. We have a nice, warm, spicy color, you guys know. Those are always some of my favorites. And then we have a pink lipstick in here as well. It looks like it's gonna be a bright pink. This one is called 1111. Dude, I keep looking at all these lipstick labels and it's taking my brain like four seconds to register what I'm reading. So I am excited about that. I feel like there used to be a ColourPop liquid lipstick, like when ColourPop first came out, um, that was called Koala. And it was like a bright neon pink like that. And I loved it. Oh my God. Okay, so they are literally the same shades, but one formula is a cream and one formula is a matte. I'm very intrigued. All right, up next is the very first box that we're gonna be opening today from Poshmark. And I can hardly wait to see what these shoes are gonna look like. I did something funny, haha, -ha, um, where I bought a pair of shoes that I already have but these are supposed to be disgustingly beat up. Like they, I bought these knowing that they are gonna look terrible. It's one of my favorite styles of shoes that I've ever owned in my life. They're called Unif Hellbounds. They are impossibly, I'll just, how about if I, oh, oh my God, yes, they look like hell. I'm so excited. Okay, I swear to God, all of a sudden there is like a pickle smell in this room. Am I being punked right now? One of them was even supposed to have a piece of confetti attached to it, which just sounds amazing. Anyway, um, despite the pickle odor, why did I think this was a good idea? Oh my God, they look like hell. I love this. Oh my God, there is the promised piece of confetti. Um, now I know, I know everybody's gonna be like, but you're a germaphobe. Yes, but I will Lysol them and 
I will set them in the back of my car for like three weeks. So the sun and the bleach will kill everything that has a pickleless odor. These are some of my favorite styles of shoes that have ever come out that I've ever owned in my life. They were called Unith Hellbounds and I do already own these, but mine still look like brand new condition. Even though like I've taken them all over the place, like I feel like I just love my shoes so much that I very rarely like scuff them or anything. Ew, it's like tape and confetti. Just look at how bad these look. I really love this though. I love all things that have character. Um, so these are all torn up, scuffed, ripped, and like even missing brads and stuff, but it just gives them like, oh, such a feel right? These are leather, so I feel like they still have like a lifetime of life in them. And these were only like 20 bucks. I mean, I know for the condition and the pickle odor, it makes a hell of a lot of sense now. But yeah, I mean, these were like, I don't even remember, like 170, $180 when they first came out. You could take these to a shoe repair shop. I'm not gonna do that. I, I specifically bought them because they look like, anyway, I'm gonna go wash the pickle scent off my hands and then we'll continue. Dude, I feel like what we just witnessed with those shoes, what we just experienced was like, you know those like would you rather games where it's like, would you rather your hands smell like potato chips forever or your feet smell like pickles? Choose one or die. That's what we just had. It's a, a pickle, pickle foot. That's kind of cool though, honestly. I, I would 10 out of 10 pick pickle feet. What would you pick? All right, up next, did I buy this? Is it PR? I really can't tell. Let's rip it open. Ugh, iron streak. Yes, I've been eating my vegetables. Um, what is this? What is this? What is this? I just keep opening it and it's like, what is that? Okay, um, oh my God. There's the opening over here. It was as simple as that. The rest was really unnecessary. Oh, I bought this. So there is a really awesome Etsy store that I love to get vintage items from. It's called, I don't know if it's pronounced nanometer or nanometer. I like nanometer better, but that sounds like nothing. Um, anyway, here's how you spell it, just in case you wanna check it out for yourself. Um, I had to have this. I think that this is like a homemade thing. It's an entire set and it's vintage. I'm just gonna pick the 90s because I like that. Um, but it has this little top, which is kind of crappy, but I don't really mind it because it does have these matching high-waisted shorts. And so look at this. I feel like it's always so hard to show you guys like how awesome like black on black clothing is, but what does this look like? What does this remind me of? I have no idea, but it's like, I don't even understand how this trim is sewn on here, but it's got this like texture to it. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to be fuzzy and crinkly. Oh my God, I know what it reminds me of now. You guys know paper shredders? and you put it and then you get and you get like this it's like if somebody sewed that to clothes and just shredded all black on black paper which that sounds amazing you guys can't see this box and it's very very heavy um this is from wet and wild and it is brand new foundations i think there's also a primer in here as well Ooh, it's a primer serum we have that and then we have foundations in literally all of the shades that they offer, which how many, I can't count. Somebody give me a quick count out there. How many bottles of foundation is this? Um, anyway, they will all be going to Good Homes. Kat just found like a new place for us to donate makeup that we can't use. I'm very excited about this. This looks like it's gonna be like clown white foundation, which I love that. I love that for me. Oh my God. Okay, what am I not doing right? Oh, it's like a, oh my God. This has a spatula. I have not seen a foundation like this like in at least the last 60 years. So I'm pretty jazzed about that. That is very, cause you could like mix it. Oh my God, what is that thing called from Beauty Blender? I have not had one of those in so long and I miss it. It was like a kind of a spatula palette where you could mix together like custom foundation shades. You could totally do that with this. Oh my God, they have a shade called Rose Ivory. <gasps> 
Ooh, I bet that's gonna like be good for me because I feel, you know what? I'm not even gonna go into it. I feel like, what foundation shade am I? I don't know. I feel like I've been matching my foundation like really well lately though, but oh, when I first got on YouTube, it was a mess. I feel like my foundation never matched my face. We have progressed a lot since then. All right, up next, ooh, I feel like this is gonna be something I'm not 100% gonna wanna show you guys yet. Oh my God, okay, it's like tissue paper with stars on it. I literally did not know what I was looking at, but I have been in the process of getting weird vintage shoes. <laughs> Did you ever just open a package? You don't even know what you're opening? Anyway, um, last month I did a video that you guys really seemed to enjoy, which was weird shoes from Wish and Amazon. And I have forever had a bunch of weird shoes. Oh, that's what these are. They're weird. Okay, sneaky peeky. But stay tuned for this video because I have had so many super weird shoes saved in my Etsy wish list. So that's what I think my next like big shoe video is gonna be is weird vintage shoes from Etsy. Okay, this package is slightly moist and I really love that for me. Oh my God, and it is torn open, so. I've got my work cut out for me. Ooh, okay, um, I'm very excited about this. Now, please tell me how stupid I am on a scale of one to 10. I literally got a comment the other day that called me a bimbo and I've never been like so just confused and I don't know. Is that a compliment or an insult? Anyway, um, oh my God. I keep getting so distracted. You guys, tell me how stupid I am right now. This is a coffee bean bracelet. It is made out of real live living coffee. Well, they're not alive. That would be kind of sick if they were, um, but it's made out of real coffee beans. Is this gonna give me energy? Is this like one of those, do you ever see those like weight loss bracelets where they're like made out of like hematite or whatever that is? Um, and they're like, oh yeah, it's gonna give you energy. You're gonna lose 10 pounds. All you have to do is wear this bracelet. Oh my God. This is like giving me happy, pleasant memories of my aunt that I was super close to. Uh, there used to be this coffee shop in the mall and we would go to it every time we would go shopping. It was called Gloria Jeans. Do those exist anywhere in the world anymore? Um, it smells, it is like so pungent, which for some reason I was not expecting, but how cute is this? I love it so, so much. Also, they are so sweet because they just included these earrings as a bonus, but I know I just keep getting off track and like drifting from one story to the next day, but I used to have this amazing friend who owned a bead store and she used to sell beads that were made out of like black eyed peas and beans and stuff. And it was so magical. I used to just sit in her shop all day and string beads and crystals and I miss her. I wonder what happened to all my friends. What happened to them? Uh, up next, a box that I have semi-opened from Luminous. And I think that these are all eyeshadows in here. Oh my God, this is amazing. So you can kind of customize and make your own palette with these. They are all eyeshadows. Oh, there's like two brushes in here, which once again, I did not know that Luminous made eyeshadow brushes. I'm learning so much today. Um, but like, oh, it's like a, um, what is that game where you drop the, <laughs> help me, help me out here. What is this game? Um, Cause they literally said insert board in here and play. But can you drop, can you drop eyeshadows like that and just play? I keep wanting to say tic-tac-toe, that's not a game. So let me go ahead and spill a lot of these out so that I can show you guys. Is my camera gonna overheat right now and cut me off? Also, my hair is just getting wilder and wilder as we go along. So, these are called Click and Play. Look at this. Ooh, I wanna put the purple one and the green one together. Um, so they have these grooves and you can click and make your own palette. Oh my God, what if I just kept connecting them and making like a really long one? Let me see. Oh, that is what you do. See, I thought you could also connect them like this. I really was not thinking there. Oh my God, look, I have made a thing. In all honesty, I don't think you should link this many together. I feel like 
I feel like this is dangerous. Also, this last one here is actually a solid eyelid primer, which I feel like is very interesting. I feel like I had one other thing to do before this video was done. Anyway, it'll come to me. It'll come to me as I'm editing, and then I'll be embarrassed that I forgot what it was. But anyway, you guys, uh, thank you all so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you haven't already, text me at this number down below. Tell me hello. Tell me how your day is going. I cannot wait to hear from you. Uh, if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!